All right, everybody, we're going to watch the second match. Let's get to it. Like we so correctly predicted, we're off to a good start here, gang. <laughs> oh, two Rob. Here we go, a stage victory. And they're played by Mark King and Kara Flack. Yeah, so when it comes to this stage, too, you're also going to have that middle ground to utilize that gyro and kind of stop your opponent from landing safely. Dang, you reflected so good. Between Kira Flack and Mark SD King, but that was a good reflex. The start of this match is a little bit slower than I was expecting from Kira Flack. So EE -E, Mark SD King is the more red Rob. Kira yeah. Flax is the more pinkish toned Rob. So we'll dip, certainly do our best. To oh, that was pink. I couldn't. I didn't even see it was pink. I thought it was like in its so regular color. Really dominant in that neutral. Well, you know what? I think the fact that it also with the Kalos kind of um, plays a role in that as well. You got a huge stage right here. Obviously, both these characters have terrific projectiles and can take advantage of that uh, ability to just zone whenever they want. So you're not going to see maybe. Uh, that quick, flashy rushdown style right out the gate as they're kind of feeling each other out, but it looks like Kira, at the very least, is getting the slight advantage of percent. Both Robs just having fun trading gyros back and forth at this point. Both of them on this first stock. You see Mark SD King being the first one to get to triple digits, and it seems like Vicky, they're both really just feeling each other out at this point, trying to read the other and trying to condition as well, too. Yeah, you see Mark as the already keeping Kiraflex off stage, but Kiraflex toss him out the ring. Need to use that side to get back safely, and you see that back here that you see Kiraflex kind of throw out by the ledge. It has a rather large hitbox, so if Mark SD actually jumps from the ledge, he will definitely be getting hit by that and losing his stock. Oh! You see right here. Unfortunately, he doesn't have to get off from the ledge, but rather get cornered instead. And with the retaliation back, Mark SD King trying to make a statement. Oh, it's Mark SD King. Really to follow up there, despite the high percent. I had trouble Kiraflex. pronouncing that name. Sort of fine job of just reading and reacting as quickly as possible. I mean, that Dang. was beautiful footwork that Kira used to take out that first stock. Just kind of juked him if you're paying attention to that. But Mark S. D. King able to retaliate, gets the up smash, and that is a powerful move that you're going to need anytime you're looking to just kind of close out a stock. So back on even footing, similar to what we saw to open the game. Now, EE, e. is that footwork or base work with Rob? Punch him, punch him. Punch him. That's a good point. I, I think <laughs> Slight disadvantage over Kira Flex, but as you would expect in a ditto match between two high quality players, it is rather even at this point. And right now we're seeing a lot of those robo beams come out here, Vicky, just to create some spacing opportunities as the other tries to navigate some of those. Oh gyros. my Kira god, that was so Unable, close. Though, to get the KO with that forward air flying off the stage. No, but he still managed to get so much percent. Oh, shielding himself. Being able to retreat back from the platform, Kira Flex is in such an aggressive role here versus Mark SD. I mean, this is still, a, you know, Rob specialist between these two players. They mostly just play Rob for the for the entirety that I've known and seen these two players play it out. But you see Mark SD still holding on to the second stock despite taking so much damage. Kiraflex is still in such an advantage state. Kiraflex connecting with that Robo Beam all in control in the second stock at this point. And it seems like e -E Kira Flex is doing a good job of just sort of keeping Mark SD King on the ropes and outside of that zone where you really want to operate. And that's what we really want to see from a defensive zoning character is to keep them at all right. and find their opportunities like they did right there. Well, yeah, I mean, those last, you know, those last 30 seconds, Mark SD King was terrified. He was over 100. Kira Flex, should be on the run, okay? Kira Flex Kira knocks down Mark SD King. No Kira Flex is going to win. When that KO is there, sometimes you got to go hunting for it. And that's what I'm seeing from my man Kira Flex. Kira Flax taking a long recovery back on the stage, dropping Gyro to go ahead and keep Mark SD King occupied at this point. And this is that separation point in the game here, Vicky. If you're Kira Flax, you just want to continue to rack up percentage, put yourself in the best position for that final stock. Yeah, you see, he's not trying to overextend either. He's trying to actually just go for the follow-ups instead. That's why you didn't see him go for the side beat by so close to the last zone when you had Mark SD King actually at the big disadvantage state that he was there. But finally finding his footing, I mean, maybe a little too late here as he is jumping around Kira Flex a lot. And you saw how he was able to lose that second stop because of the fact that Kira Flex called out that jump with a large up air. Mark SD King trying to hang on here, but it's been all Kira Flax in this first game between this Rob Ditto of Mark SD King and Kira Punch him Flax. out! Punch him out! Kira Flax regaining stage control yet again, EE. E. And that's been kind of the theme of this final stock. Yeah, it really just... It oh! Well, there you go. But there we go. Get Push to the ground. <laughs> to maybe spark, maybe mount some type of comeback. It's, it's very improbable, but it's not impossible. That's the one thing... And if I'm Mark SD King, I kind of keep in mind, but you got to play this so close to the chest. And Kira Flax, he's been such, 
just so proficient in just hunting them down at these higher percents. It really feels like it's a it's a losing battle, but it's not one that's over. You got a stock, you got a chance. Pure Flex really doing a fine job of trapping Mark SD King with these gyros and then reading the recovery and options. And as you said, Vicky, really utilizing those follow-up opportunities to punish and rack up that damage. Yeah, and you saw right there, that could have been it for Mark SD King. Oh, sick. But the oh, but it's not over yet. As Mark SD King, but with a great DI and lack of rage from Pure Flex's part, Mark SD King is still going to be able to find himself holding on to this last stop to try to bring it back, utilize this rage. And Come on, Pure Flex. Here for Mark SD King, if he can find us down here. Yeah, Mark SD King doing a fine job of just punishing that arm rotor coming out. Oh, oh nice finish. Kira Flax not going to let any comeback happen on their watch. They close things out. And he, he really just a fine job of Kira Flax in this ditto match of being in the advantage for the majority of this match, using all of Rob's tools to really keep Mark SD King away from being up in their face. Because we know Rob sometimes can struggle with fighters that are right in their face applying that pressure. I, I feel so, the match ended so abruptly. I feel so bad because he, he was just, it, it looked like it was like, we're thinking, okay, it, it's it's improbable, but it's not impossible. We're thinking Mark might have been able to do it, but then this one there just, just silences all of that. But no, uh, Kira did, uh, it did exactly what it was supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? He got off to, uh, got up, out, out there with the lead early on. He maintained it the whole time. And Mark, again, he's just fighting an uphill battle against a character, obviously, you know well, but it's the same thing on the other side. Kira knows well, he knows what to do to keep out it just wasn't uh, all right to round two make that come back a reality well no surprises and we're on the battlefield selection. stage Rob Ditto once again on battlefield and Vicky if you're Mark SD King what adjustments do you see them possibly making in this second game well, you saw him already adjusting in that last match. I mean, Kiraflex did have an exponential lead at the beginning, but you saw Marcus Come on, he kind of freaking his way back towards evening things out with Kiraflex. And, you know, despite Kiraflex taking that first game, I know if Kiraflex Kira wins, definitely felt like anything was possible he's going to go against so Tipster. Worked out for Marcus D. King. He could have utilized that rage to actually get an up smash kill and now take getting the down here, actually trying to reverse the Mark situation. Mark SD King will go to the loser's to round. He has such a great long recovery like that. That up air is such an effective tool for Rob. It seems like a battlefield, and you have to stay off these platforms because Rob, as you mentioned, a big, heavy, floating character that's easy to hit. Absolutely. I mean, you, honestly, it's just one of those things where you just have to always know exactly where you are and the situation you're putting yourself in because Rob does have a ride way. Oh. And that back air being quite an efficient one as well. Pure Flax off to another tremendous start. As Mark S D King, he might be he might be wishing he does S D at the moment simply because he'll give him an excuse. Why am I losing like this, Jordan? <laughs> <laughs> well, what's going on is that you've got Kira Flax here, Vicky, just doing a great job of being patient and looking for those openings to punish and doing a great job defensively as well too, not giving Mark S D King really any windows to close the gap. Yeah, you see, Kiraflex has just been playing so well where he's not trying to overextend on his lead either. He's only going for these follow-ups and trying to utilize what he's been able to download off of Mark SD King. Like, whether he's going to try to jump the ledge, you saw that Kiraflex was able to land that back here. And now that Kiraflex still has a stock lead, despite taking so much damage, you see him basically spinning away from it. And that's what Rob could do. He, he nice. No Punch him to the sky. Options. It is all Kiraflex. All right, one more. Then you're going to the... You're going to fight against Tipster. Oh. Kiraflex got knocked out. Hey, I love puns. You can keep them coming, my friend. It's all of Kira Flax in full control, Vicky. We see the grab into the side throw. And as you said before, Kira Flex not overextending themselves. And that's what we see sometimes when someone has a lead. You try to get flashy, you overextend yourself, try to do things outside the scope of what your fighter should do. And that's when you leave that window for a comeback. You don't expect to see that from Kira Flax, a well-disciplined player. Yeah, instead you see him just continuously adding in this pressure, utilizing these platforms. You saw him using the up airs right underneath them, and Mark SD unfortunately stuck in his shield. But now that we've been able to even things up on the ground, where Mark SD King has been trying to hold on to the center stage, Kira Flax taking full advantage, running up with these down tilts and keeping him so close to the blast. So Kira Flax oh, is nice one! And continuously taking Mark SD to the blast zone. Oh, to the blast zone. Of Jaws. I mean, we got to mention that, here, of course. But oh, today's you know, a Jaws anniversary. Once again, this Kira Flex just using that relentless pursuit off stage when you need 
need to, and being able to sort of turn that dial to aggressive versus defensive when you need it most is the sign of a top-level player, and Kira Flex mm -hmm. is playing that, closing out that second game and moving on to Winners Finals. Yeah, it's, it's just, it, it becomes so tough when you get in a situation uh, where you're already down a stock kind of early, I think he had like 60, 70%-ish on him. Uh, Kira right there, he's just going to have that elevated confidence just to keep going, rinse and repeat. What's working here? Oh, I'm putting pressure on you. You have to run away. It's hard to fight back when you're always just being smothered. You know what I mean? I think that's what Kira realizes. Let's go ahead and take a look at the updated bracket here as we now have our first two players in winner's finals. It'll be this point. All right. Take that was a fun match. And, and we are going to head to the next video. So up next will be that winner's final between Nesboy 12 